Hey gang, welcome to the hunting cabin. Uh, we're going to make a, a, a wild raspberry cobbler today. So, first thing I got to do is get some berries. Hang tight. Come on, girl. Look at her charging up through here. That's my pup. Hey, Zoe, say hi to him. Yeah, me and Zoe, guys, me and Zoe are getting ready to make cobbler. Right now, we've got to pick berries. These are wine berries. We're going to make a wine berry cobbler. I do not know if you can. Let me try to get up, get up here. And I've heard these called. I've heard these called um, whole berries. Um, I've heard them called wild, uh, wild raspberries, but from what I can determine, these are actually Japanese Japanese wine berries. They're really good. You can see these are really, really ripe and ready to pick. And we're going to try to get us a whole bunch of them together to do this to do this uh, cobbler with, right, right, Zoe? Hey, Zoe. Yeah, there you go. Zoe's pregnant again. I, I I jokingly refer to her as a little trollop. She is. She's a fine dog. She that dog. Uh, she likes to sleep at my feet in the bed, and she waits in the bed for me to get up and go to work. And when I go to work, she's with me until the work is done. Excellent little pup, aren't you, Zoe? Huh? But she's stubborn as the day is long. I swear that dog is stubborn. Zoe. Hey, Zoe. Stubborn, ain't you? Now, I don't want to waste too much time uh, just kind of running my jaws. We're supposed to be making, we're supposed to be making cobbler. But this, our farm, we're blessed to have uh, what the Lord has given us here. Uh, but this, this farm here, part of that blessing is, is these berries. They're everywhere. Loaded down as far as as far as as you can walk down now that As far as you can see back through there and beyond is loaded with these berries now this My farm is kind of tiered in this section You come down here and you'll drop over this hill and there's another big bunch of cleared out area with this patch of woods divided both sides completely loaded down with these berries i can pick these berries pick and pick and pick as hard as i can go in the summertime and that's even with help from the kids and the wife and we can't pick them all it's a it's a it's an awesome thing but today what we're going to be doing we're going to be making cobbler right zo yeah all right gang what you see here is everything that we need for this uh cast iron wild raspberry cobbler uh aka wineberry uh anyway let's get to it first thing i'm gonna do is take this we're gonna need this whole stick of butter first thing i'm gonna do though is get my cast iron skillet here and i'm gonna take this butter and i'm gonna get it cover every square inch of this pan with this butter now i don't well, I don't say I don't allow it, but I don't even like for margarine to come in my house. Every once in a while, the wife will bring it in here, and that's hers to do. You know, she's she does her own thing, but I am very much opposed to margarine. I don't like it. I think it tastes bad, but whatever. You know, use what you want to use. I highly recommend using butter now I've got my berries here and I'm going to cover the bottom of this pan with these berries and I, I'm not sure you know I'd say you could you could uh, use what three just call it three cups of berries if you want if you need to measure I don't I don't measure any more than I have to I don't think it's real necessary unless you're a real high class chef type or something like that I just cook to the best of my ability and things usually work out halfway decent anyway okay enough of those berries let's get I'm gonna get it using this as my measure 
you can call it you, if you want to go with a cup say I, you know I'm using a cup it'd be a cup of self rising flour a cup of sugar and I gotta keep my sugar in them bags because up here at this hunting cabin the, the ants get into everything so uh, anyway a cup of flour self rising cup of sugar and a cup of whole milk if you want to use the diet milk use the diet milk whatever and I'm also going to put a dash you see we'll call it a teaspoon of vanilla just a cap full whatever I'm just going to splash it in there myself and anyway, let me get all that measured out and in my mixing bowl and we'll get this mixed up and get this uh, cast iron cobbler put together okay I about forgot a step here I'm gonna cut this butter into pats okay and I'm gonna put it all over those berries there just place them in here all around get this butter in here this is gonna be good buddy mine on the YouTube says it make your tongue come out and uh, slap your eyebrows and I'm gonna just keep going at it here putting that butter around kind of even now, I asked my wife I sent her a message and asked her to bring me a gallon of ice cream that we can put our ice cream over top of this. She's on one of those uh, keto diets. I don't know if she's going to take a 4th of July break with me off that diet and have some real food or not. But there we go. We got that butter in there. Let's get this mixed up and get this together. I got that oven preheating to, uh, the oven is preheating to uh, 350 degrees. And we're going to leave this in there for about 45 minutes or until golden brown. Keep an eye on it, whatever. Anyway, let's get to mixing. All right, let's get here in here on this. Let's see. Probably just better dump it. Dump it in my, in my cup there. Get a little bit of sugar. Throw a little bit of... Little bit of flour self rising now okay all right let's get this milk get this milk in here all right there we go and just a little splash that vanilla right there I'm going to put that sugar back in there before I forget. They ain't nothing no better in my mind than cobbler. I don't care if it's peach, strawberry, blueberry, elderberry, any berry, whatever. It's all good. Cobbler is good. Of course, your doctor, you know, if your doctor's anything like my doctor, they'll be on to you about eating stuff like that. But, uh, well, I don't know if I'll say anything about it or not, but half the time, you know, by the time they get you uh, with all their rules and their diet, and you ain't living anyway, if you're, you know. My doctor, uh, uh, they took a cholesterol checker ever what you know I'm not saying go off your cholesterol diet but that just you know man sometimes you know if you just, my grandfather lived what I don't know hunted and fished every day of his life eating bacon and eggs and so on and so forth you know biscuits and gravy till he was way up in his 70s he lived a good life and of course he did have a heart attack up toward the end but I don't know he was healthy up to that point. I just don't know about all their stuff that they do and their diet that they talk about to begin with. Maybe it foolish of me, I don't know. Anyway, here we go. We're gonna pour this all over here.
here in just a little while. Hopefully, here in 45 minutes or there, right at that, we're going to have us a cobbler you'll never forget. All right, we'll go get it in the oven. Well, there you have it, guys. See, it's a fresh out of the oven. You can see it's still, you can see it is still perking in there. Golden brown, right at about 45 minutes at 350 degrees. Wild raspberries, aka wine berries. Um, give it a shot. I, I don't believe you'll be disappointed. I wish my wife was back with the ice cream so we could plate some of this up, but she is not. Anyway, take care, guys, and enjoy.